So today I want to share 10 different tips for those who just started working from home for the first time. I've been working from home for the last two and a half years, guys, and I think I've gotten this down. So I wanna share 10 tips to increase your productivity, focus, and flow during this time that you might be working from home. Number one, get ready for the day. You know, working in your pajamas or just, you know, working just out of your bed or whatever, this may sound fancier in your mind, but once you start doing it, you'll quickly realize, trust me, I've been there, quickly realize that it's not helpful for productivity. The best thing to do is actually to get into the place of feeling ready for the day, feeling ready for the world, even if no one else is gonna see you, this is for you. Um, in fact, I don't know if you guys know this, but Facebook founder, obviously, Mark Zuckerberg, um, even when he was going through a tough time back in 2009, or I don't remember the year exactly, but he wore a suit for 365 days, even though he didn't have to, obviously. He's a freaking CEO of um, Facebook. He didn't have to do that, yet by doing so, he was able to get his company out of a difficult time, and that really helped him with his mindset. Not only that, there's been plenty of research that supports this. So get ready, guys. Don't slack off. Number two, plan out the day. Plan out your calls, plan out your breaks, plan even your naps. I'm a huge, huge advocate of naps. There's actually many, many reasons that you get to take a nap, and you know I'll share that in a different video, but plan it out. Plan it out, plan it out so that you know that you get to rest for 10 minutes after working for 50, or whatever it is, so that you have some kind of structure for the day. Number three, say no to chores around the house until a scheduled time. It's so easy to get sucked into doing the dishes, to doing the laundry, or you know, cleaning your room or whatever. And these are all productive things to do. And though, if you get stopped in your flow 10 times a day because you're working on your chores, guess what? The day's gonna go by and you're gonna feel not very productive. So um, say no to chores during the day. Number four, create a morning routine. This is so powerful. So for me, I take a shower first thing, and then I would go for a quick walk or jog around the neighborhood, not too far given the time, um, or do a quick workout in my backyard. And then I will meditate and journal, whatever, you know, it feels like it's going to set me up for the day. Um, you guys get to try this as well. This helps you set an intention for the day so you don't feel like the day is getting you. You feel like you're managing your day. Number five. Um, send random texts and phone calls to those that you love and stay connected, especially during this time when you guys cannot leave the house um, or you're mostly home, you get to actually create that level of deep connection. That's a choice that you guys get to make. And more than ever, we can use the support right now for each other. So take a moment and connect with somebody that you love. Number six, dance in between working, move that energy. I've been hosting a bunch of virtual dance parties and they've been so much fun. If you guys are interested in joining any of them in the future, let me know, comment below, and I will reach out and we can get that going. Number seven, find a way to work out. I find that a lot of gyms are closed right now, yoga studios are closed right now, and there's plenty of resources that you can still get your workout in. You can do sit-ups, you can do push-ups, you can do all sorts of things to make sure that you're keeping up with the health of your body. I mean, our bodies are really the vehicle for our souls. so. If we don't take care of it, everything falls apart. Especially right now, it's so important to stay healthy. It's so important to make sure that our immune system is where it needs to be. And a part of that is number eight, meditate. I'm a huge advocate of meditation. So if you guys have followed me on this journey at all, either YouTube or elsewhere, um, you'll know that I love meditation. I've been meditating for the last hour, for the last week, for like an hour or two a day because it's been a lot of uncertainties and it's it's been a different time. So for me, that's really helped me stay grounded and stay high vibe. So if you guys have any any questions about meditation, feel free to comment below and I'd be happy to reach out. 
Number nine is communication boundary, communicating your boundaries, whether it's your family members, whether it's your roommates. Right now, you guys are probably spending a lot of time together. So while this can be really fun, it can also bring about a lot of conflicts. So, you know, before that happens, set some ground rules. What works for you? What doesn't? When do you need your, you know, alone time? When do you need your work time? And really separating that so that you guys can have intentional connection time together that'll actually be more meaningful when you guys do get together. Um, and number 10, create and commit to empowering habits. So right now, there's a lot of, you know, people are feeling bored. People are feeling somewhat disconnected sometimes because obviously we aren't able to, you know, actually meet up in person. So, you know, during this time, they say lack of connection is really the cause of addiction. So be careful of uh, the habits that you're actually setting for yourself. It's really easy to fall back into, you know, past habits or even create new bad habits. So that, you know, two glasses of wine here and there can turn into bottles real fast. That joint here and there can turn into an entire, you know, day of being high. So be careful. You know, we're all adults here. We know um, that some of these can be good once in a while and just be mindful of creating habits for me i've been really really mindful of creating certain habits that do work for me like drinking water in the morning taking vitamin c um working out meditation so be mindful about the habits that you are creating from this place so i hope that was helpful guys please feel free to let me know which one you found to be most helpful and if you haven't already please subscribe my name is yuri Choi. thanks for watching bye y'all